MPLST and MPLS VPN. In this video, I'm going to talk about again the relation between the MPLS traffic engineering and MPLS layer 3 VPN about the VRF2 PE uh, tunnel. Okay, this is the new concept. In the previous scenario, you learn about how we can configure a traffic engineering tunnel between two P router and after that how we can forward the traffic of one customer into that uh, for example T tunnel and after that uh, for example using the better uh, bandwidth of the links of the service provider. Here we have a similar scenario but with one important difference. Let me to talk about this difference and how we can uh, for example solve the problem look at here here we have two customer customer a site one and customer b site one connected to the rotor one the first p rotor and after that after that customer a site two and customer b site two are uh, connected to the rotor six as you can see okay and here again we need to forward traffic of one customer from one pass for example from r1 to r2 to r3 to r5 to r6 and also forwarding the customer beast traffic from this tunnel okay it is so simple to configuring to t tunnel and uh, with the uh, method that you learned in the previous scenario we can forward the traffic into the uh, 2t tunnel but what is the problem let me to talk about this look at here you know that the ip address of the rotor 6 that we are using this ip address for establishing bgp neighborship is 192.168.254.6 slash 32 this is the ip address we have on the rotor 6 and also the 192.168.254.1 slash 32 on the rotor 1 and this is the ip address that we are using that ip address for establishing the uh, for example bgp neighborship between the rotor 1 and between the rotor 6 okay and you know that every address that r1 should advertise uh, to the r6 for example the addresses received from the customers should be advertised with this next stop look at here assume that here in rotor 5 we have the 192.168.2547 slash 32 and uh, also in the rotor 9 similar to the scenario you saw before 192.168.2549 slash 32 and you know that these two updates should be advertised to the rotor 1 with for example bgp and then we are sending the vpn v4 okay to the rotor 6 the vpn before of the customer a is uh, 65000 column 1 for example and then again column 192.168.2547 slash 32 and also with the pass attribute we can send the next stop of the 192.168.2541 okay both of this update uh, the 192.168.2547 the address of customer a and also the address of customer b okay should be advertised as a vpn before route to the rotor 6 but both update has same next stop because of that when this update is receiving by rotor 6 rotor 6 should as uh, use the same next stop for the uh, for example two address for example in the vrf of the customer b2 here we have a vrf let me to show you look at here here we have a vrf vrf a2 okay this is a vrf a2 and also this is a vrf b2 the site two of customer a and the site two of customer b okay in vrf a2 now we imported the 192.168.254.7 uh, and after that, if a traffic received to this IP address, to the 192.168.2547, the R6 should forward it to the 192.168.2541. Also, 192.168.2549 should be imported to the VRFB2. And if a traffic received from the router 10 to this IP address, this, the, the next stop is again 192.168.2541. Because of that, we have a problem. You know that in previous scenario on the rotor 6, I configured IP route 192.168.2541, okay, quad 255, then the, the tunnel, the traffic engineering tunnel, for example, tunnel 0. You know that here, now we have two tunnel, tunnel 1 or tunnel, for example, 0 and also tunnel 1. But you know that here we are using 
that uh, we need to use two aesthetic root IP root of 192.168.254.1 quad255 tunnel 0 again here we have 192.168.254.1 because of that if you configure tunnel 1 the result is that all of the traffic of the customer A and customer B should be load balanced between these two tunnels but we don't want to load balancing we don't we want to forwarding the traffic of customer A side 2 to the tunnel 0 and customer B side 2 to tunnel 1 that's it okay we don't want uh, we don't want to load balance the traffic of these customers of, uh, with a random fashion to the tunnel 0 and tunnel 1 okay this is the problem the problem is that all of the addresses of the customers should be advertised with the one next stop by default and because of that we cannot uh, differentiate between the addresses of the different customer or the, uh, because here we have only one next stop same next stop and we cannot traffic of a, each customer to a different uh, for example a traffic engineering tunnel this is our problem in the uh, VRF uh, for example in, when we have multiple customers how we can solve it the solution is so easy if we can configure r1 to advertise different next stop to the rotor 6 the problem should be solved for example we can configure one loopback address on the rotor 1 loopback 1 okay with this ip address or loopback uh, 1 okay and this is the uh, for example loopback 2 okay if we can configure these two ip address and we can say that r1 if you are advertising the uh, addresses of the vrfa please advertise the next stop as one 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 two and if you are advertising the address of the vrfb please advertise the one 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 three as the next stop now we are receiving two next stop for the addresses of different customers because of that we can uh, configure two different static route for differentiating between them look at your ip root uh, for example to the one 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 two quad two five five use tunnel zero and then ip root uh, for the one 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 three please use tunnel one okay this is the method that we needed but how we can change the next stop for different vrfs we need to talk about that and don't forget that we do we need to do uh, this function in two way first uh, for in r1 and second in r6 let me to configuring this scenario after configuration we can better understand the detail of the uh, vrf2p tunnel in vrf2p tunnel configuration we uh, try we are trying to sending the traffic of one vrf to a tunnel and another vrf to the other tunnel this means that we are using vrf to pe uh, for example tunneling or vrf to te tunnel routing let me first uh, configuring this scenario you can better understand the detail and also the, the detail of configuration and also the uh, for example concept okay we can start the configuration of this scenario and after that we can talk about the detail here in r1 uh, we need to look back ip address because i'm going to use uh, every uh, ip address each ip address for one vrf and also in the rotor six also we need two ip address first the uh, 6661 the ip address of the loopback one and second 6662 the ip address of the loopback two also i'm going to configure two traffic engineering tunnel tunnel zero and tunnel one in r6 and also in r1 everything is similar to the configuration of the p to p tunnel but here we need to only change the next stop this is the only difference that we have because of that we can use the configuration of the previous scenario here I, we have vrf a2 and b2 and also in rotor one uh, we can use uh, the vrf of a on um, a1 and after that vrf of the for example b1 okay this is our notepad file we can start the configuration of the rotor one in rotor one about the initial configuration we don't have any change i configured two vrf vrf definition a1 let me to configure the second vrf vrf definition uh, b1 okay the rd of vrf definition b1 is 65000 colon uh, for example two and then add this family ipv4 road target in uh, both 65000 colon this is in, uh, about the MPLS layer 3 VPN and I'm not going to talk about the detail of layer 3 VPN. Okay, only we are configuring it. 
about here uh, we have interface fast ethernet 00 let me to show you the label of the interfaces this is 